What is going on? Welcome back. I'm here at the Naples airport and today I'm going to be going to California to ferry an airplane back. It's actually going to be a Technum P2002 uh, uh, Sierra. This is actually my first ferry flight. I'm pretty excited. Just waiting for my ride over here. I'm going to be going with my student and of course wanted to document this experience as well. And I will see you guys in California. As soon as we landed in Sacramento, we rented a car and we drove to the Placerville airport to meet up with the broker. I couldn't help but notice the strange looking hangers. I just never seen this type, but I learned that they are called port to port and widely used in the West Coast. Before the party, I did a very thorough pre-flight. Obviously, I wanted to make sure everything was good before we started our journey back to Naples. Are you excited, Bob? <laughs> It's a long flight. Our first leg was Placerville Direct Lancaster. Placerville Airport, automated weather observation. Two, two, three, eight, Zulu weather, wind two. All right, ready? Yep. Airspeed alive. Approach lights port one, two, eight, Bravo. 6,300 climbing 7,500. Skywest After a great night's sleep, we got ready for our next leg, Lancaster Direct Acton, Arizona. Fox Tower, Lights 4128 Bravo, holding short of 6 at Alpha 1, ready for departure. Fox Tower, runway 6, clear for takeoff, on course approved. Clear for takeoff, runway 6, on course approved, 2A Bravo. Helicopter 76, Hotel Tango, Fox Tower. Wow, right off the ground. Yeah. Number 128 Bravo, Josh, approach to Palm Altimeter 3024 and uh, say destination. 3024 and destination is going to be Alpha 39er uh, action in Arizona. 128 Bravo, radar contact 3 miles east of the Fox Airport. Roger. Man, this is stinking desert. Who the heck would want to live here? I don't know. Well, I guess the people from Los Angeles that, you know. Get out of the city. Get out of the city and cheaper. Yeah, it's only an hour away, he said, so. About halfway to Acton, Arizona, we noticed all these commercial airplanes parked at this airport. I am assuming is due to the virus and it is devastating to see what COVID is doing to the industry. This leg was approximately three hours and a half and that's Probably the most I've been in a small airplane, so we couldn't wait to land and use the restroom. After filling up and stretching our legs, we started getting ready for our next flight, which was Action Direct to Las Cruces, Texas. Las Cruces traffic, uh, lights port 128 Bravo, short final runway 4, Las Cruces. So far the weather was cooperating, but let me tell you, the crosswind in Las Cruces was significant. This was actually a bicycle landing on the airplane, so please don't judge me. We did a brief stop at Las Cruces and decided to stretch our flight all the way to Pecos, Texas. 
In this leg, we enjoy the most beautiful views of the entire flight without any doubt. Even though we were trying to leave Pecos pretty early in the morning, it was so cold that the airplane would not even start. We literally turned the airplane facing towards the sun to see if it would warm up the engine. It actually worked. The first leg of the day was going to be Pecos Direct Palestine, Texas. Pecos tra traffic, light sport 128 Bravo, currently 4,100 climbing, 7,500. This will be a, la a last call. I will be the party to the east. Thank you everyone for everything. Albuquerque Center, Light Sport 128 Bravo with a request. Who has a reply? Uh, this is Light Sport 128 Bravo. We just departed the Pecos uh, Airport. We'd like to request BFR flight following to Kilo Papa, Sierra, November 7500. We are a Sierra India Romeo Alpha. Number 128 Bravo, the Pecos altimeter is 3048. Ident, stay altitude, and I'm going to verify your information. After a fuel stop in Palestine, we took off for our last leg of the day, which was Palestine to Bay Manit, or so we thought. Since we were flying at Christmas Eve, there was no one at the Baymanet FBO. If for whatever reason we needed any assistance, we would have to wait to the next day for someone to come in. So even though it was dark, we decided to fly all the way to Panama City. Anyways, we were taking advantage of a very strong tailwind. Florida, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Even though we could have made it to Naples in one shot from Panama City, the fuel was just too expensive and shelled there, so we decided to go to Williston and Florida, fuel up, and then proceed to Naples. Getting ready for our final leg back to Naples. Here in Williston, Florida. In total, it took us about 20 hours to get to this point, and we just couldn't wait to get back home. The previous day there was a cold front that passed through the entire state of Florida and there was a lot of turbulence at 3,500 feet. I really wanted to record our last landing but unfortunately my GoPro did not charge the previous night. We're back in Naples, all the way from Placerville, California. I can't believe that this airplane <laughs> took us that far. There's Bob, He's super happy with his new airplane. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. Uh, if you guys liked it, I would really appreciate a like. Also, if you want to see more adventures like this, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.